Okay, so what I'm going to work on now is I'm going to try to get this text on the front right here. I've tried to read what it says. I can't read what it says. I can't really tell what it says there specifically. So I'm just going to say that it says Candy 3. So that's what's going to work for me. Candy 3. I'll be happy with Candy 3. So to build this text, I'm going to be in the front viewport. So make sure that this corner right up here says front viewport. Click on the Create tab, and I'm going to click and create a text plus. Now I'll bring the text plus out. And um, at the moment, it's kind of small, but I'm going to put in there for the text part, Candy and then the number three. And um, then I'm going to take the size of this font down. And I'm going to take it down and down and down and make it pretty small. Um, so for right now, 2.25 centimeters is probably going to work. I may adjust it a little larger. We'll see here in a few minutes, OK? Um, because I've made it much smaller, I can also make its bounding box, its region, a lot smaller. So I'm adjusting that region so the region is um, Contains it nicely. I'm going to switch to the move tool and press the Z key to zoom on this and Select back on The object and go to the modify tab and I'm going to call this give it the name Andy three and then um, In its parameters, I'm going to select the text now be careful how you do this because uh, you, If you if you destroy it if you break it and you can't get out Just throw it away and start all over again until you can get it right, okay? Um, with that text selected, I'm going to go ahead and change the font, and the font I'm going to pick is called Bird Love. And um, Bird Love looks good. I like that font. And then I'm going to click on the Select button and then click on the Move tool, and looks like it's forgotten about... Uh, move myself back. In fact, maybe I'll move myself to a top view and zoom on this a little bit. So I know it's gonna be moving over somewhere in this area right here. And now I can change to a perspective view and bring myself down and turn my skins back on. And yeah, it's too high on the TV. And move it down and move it back. And now it's looks like it's gone into the TV. Zoom on it there, it's right in front. Now. Right now, it doesn't have any thickness, so that's the problem. It doesn't have any thickness, but there's my Candy 3. Um, one of the parameters I can set here is its extrusion. I'm going to give it an extrusion of 0 0.5 centimeters, and that's a pretty serious extrusion. Uh, let's see, looking from the front here, man, it's, it's just about the right size, too. And let's see here. I think I want that to be zero. I want the X value to be zero. The X value zero is going to center it right on the front. And then if I pull it back, there we go. I've sunk it into the grill. And now I've got candy three right there. And I'm also going to apply bevel. So I'm going to check the button to apply bevel. And I definitely do not want to do 0.5. Um, I, I think what I want to do is 0.1. Point 0.1 works great. So for the point 0.1 bevel, that works good. Then I'm going to turn on the rotate tool. And with the rotate tool, I'm just going to rotate it, tilt it up at an angle like this. And now let me see. How's it looking? Candy 3. Not bad. Let me zoom in a little bit here so I can get a close up and... Take a look and see how things are looking. I think I'm going to be happy with that. That's about all there is to throwing in some text right there on the front of your object and getting it positioned. All righty. Looking good. Thanks.